Coming up on the FTC Open Alliance Show, 17012 Precision Guessworks is back to give an update on their Into the Deep robot progress. In addition to building their own competition bot, they've been experimenting and customizing with the FTC EveryBot and provide their own take on how this has been a learning experience for their team. We'll also dive into some parts for the robot they've created, future updates, and a bit more into their CAD, and of course how their boat hook is looking to work out. So let's get ready for the FTC Open Alliance Show. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Go ahead free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad-free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. And let's welcome back onto the FTC Open Alliance Show, 17012 Precision Guessworks coming in from Indiana. And lots of uh, cool stuff to show up here. Obviously, uh, we have the uh, everybody we'll be talking about, a lot more great stuff too. So welcome back uh, to uh, your team. Two of you are new. So why don't you all just reintroduce yourselves, let us know who you are, and we're going to jump into your uh, everybody and a lot of other great stuff too. Uh, my name is Jadron. I'm a senior uh, in high school. I've been on this I've been doing this for four years, I've been on this team for three. This is my third one. My uh, name is Kira. Um, this is, I'm a junior in high school. This is my third year on FTC 17012 team. Uh, my name is Christopher Root. I'm a sophomore. This is my third year at Jeff Robotics. Uh, so for the EveryBot, we found, and we don't know what causes it, but the arm falls down. So we're going to try and see what's wrong with that. And then I've had to rebuild this intake so much because our servo is broken because it doesn't spin it's so hard. So with the FTC EveryBot on here, so you've faced some challenging, obviously you've gone through. Are you making modifications? Is this directly what the FTC EveryBot specs are? Talk we, more about like, how that is. We've changed the wheels and the motors and some of the positions of like the control hub and the battery. But for the most part, it is what they said to use. Sure. So on the back there, I know with the FTC everybody, they're using like a herringbone gear, right? On the on the back end of that. Uh, is that where you're finding that like you're having some back backlash on essentially? Is like you're not able to get that secured? I don't know. It's more of a code thing, I believe. The motors kind of just slip, but we should be able to figure it out and fix it. For sure. And on your intake uh, that you were showing on there too, um, so is that is that the spec as well? Or um, if it is, like, have you looked at maybe doing any modifications to make it easier for you? Where have your challenges been with that? The different things we did, we don't have the wheels they have, so we just have different compliant wheels. And then we've changed the servos, I believe. But the problems we are finding with it is there's too much friction, and so it can't spin. It doesn't spin. Gotcha. One of the things we were talking about uh, before we, we came on air, too, is that you have a couple teams that have created this, and you have a couple of different color schemes as well, too, that you made with these as well. How has your team enjoyed, like, you know, having 3D prints and making custom colors? Is that something that you find enjoyable and you've uh, liked with the EveryBot so far? Yes. We wish we got the rainbow one, but Miss Rebecca says that's for the other team. We've done a lot of 3D printing this year because we've gotten more 3D printers and more ex access to it. We've also gotten a new, uh, a new multicolor uh, 3D printer, so we can have, be a lot more diverse with the with the uh, layering of 3D prints. We 3D printed our signs for our, like actual robot or. <clears throat> like main one that we're going to use and we made it so it's reversible and there's these little clips on the side that are magnetic oh those are awesome by the way is that from the magnetic side of things have you used something like that before not really i don't think so a little bit but 
this is pretty new since we've never I don't we've think we've, we've done... used magnets for FTC like it's got a, it's got a nice uh, ASMR vibe to it going on too yeah. so that's always nice too mm -hmm. with that as well um, you know you know what's really interesting like for the for the uh, actual plates themselves is that something that like uh, you guys have any documentation on I think there'd be teams who'd be interested in making something like that too um there's stuff on the build thread about it but I don't think there's any like anything actually out we'd have to talk to our mentor if she'd be like willing to do anything sure. or other teams could also reach out if they were interested yeah i think that would be a great way i think a lot of teams would really be interested in that as well um before we get to the uh, other parts you have on there is there anything from the uh everybody that you want to demo on the field or show off at all of yes the things we found with the every bot is that with the wheels we're using it's too tall to climb because we use different wheels because this is what we had uh, but they make the robot too tall to fit the climbers under and we found that if we take out the hard stuff, which you don't, isn't necessarily like a good thing because that'll make it easier to tip. Then you can go back, you can go back far enough to climb, but yeah. So anything else from uh, the EveryBot that you've uh, noticed that you want to share with teams of either things that worked well or things that maybe you would do differently? Um, I think that's about it. Chris, do you have anything to add about the EveryBot? No. Yeah, I think that's about it. But we're really happy with like the like experimenting with it, and we're glad that we kind of took a break from our robot because it was it was a little challenging for a bit, and it was nice to take a break. Yeah, and, and I think one of the ethos of, of the EveryBot system, and you all are, are involved with FRC too, right? So like on that side, it's like yeah. giving teams access to things and then making it your own and seeing what works and doesn't. So it's cool that you've been able to take that, make it your own, even if not everything has worked out well necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's cool that you've had the opportunity for that too. Speaking about cool stuff too, we talked about those plates you have. What else do you have on the table here that you want to share? Um, I'll start with this. So this is – these are drill guides. So we're going to – for our actual robot, or not the every bot, the one that we plan to use for competition, we're going to use these to help make sure that it's really precise. And we use our 3D printer to do these as well. We're going to redo this one. But this one, this one is good. And then it slide off and on really good and aren't very hard to get off, which is nice. And then for the control hub, we made <clears throat> a little like... A little, yeah, a little shelf, a little table for it to sit on so we could fit wires and the gyro underneath. And it's pretty cute. And we have another one. For the expansion hub. Yeah. We also have been playing with heat heat inserts. Yeah, we've been playing with that because on um, we had some trouble with the every bot. <laughs> um but with the we, it's kinda good. They basically we we heat up the uh we heat up these little brass pieces and then with a uh, heat gun and then press them onto press them into a uh, pre-made holes like pre-printed holes on the uh piece and it'll push the and the metal will melt through the piece and lock itself into place so when the plastic cools it the piece will just be will be there and you will be able to screw bolts into it oh that's really cool for sure on that now i know we're gonna be jumping into your cat in a little bit on this too but Kind of walk me through, you know, throughout the next, like, month or so, where is your team looking at getting in terms of uh, assembling and getting together your uh, competition robot? Uh, we plan – we just – we plan on actually beginning the uh, – we, we've already some, – some of these pieces, uh, like these, I believe – actually, I think all of these are for the actual competition robot. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're starting to get some pieces together. We're going to start assembly uh, very, very soon. Like next meeting. Yeah, about cutting metal and stuff. Yes, we're 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 attempting to get it. We're attempting to get more assembly done within the next month before our semester ends, because when we come back from our winter break, we will be, uh, 
sort of swamped with FRC work as well. So we, we want to make sure to get as much like hard work done as possible before we begin to get double tasked. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, everything comes really quick, right, with the holidays and FRC kickoff, that sort of thing, too. Let's jump into your CAD. Talk to me more about uh, what your robot design is. Break down some key attributes, especially uh, maybe since uh, we've last had you on, which was, you know, quite a few weeks ago. A lot of great progress you've shown here. We've done, a, we've done a little bit more work on the CAD recently, and uh, we added the signage or, like, the number plate on the side. And we also have a little bit more done, <clears throat> like, finalized. So can you give me a walkthrough more of how this boat hook climber actually works? Like, how are you actually getting up on the rungs? Uh, so what we do is we will uh, we'll deploy these smaller uh, climb, climbing hooks with this elevator system right here. Yeah, it'll grab it. It'll pull up the it'll pull a robot up, and then our boat hook that that is when our boat hook will go and grab the upper bar and pull us above the uh, lower bar and we'll, we'll, we'll climb. I mean, so I, I know you haven't put all this together yet. What is kind of from your objective standpoint, like how quickly do you want to get this climb done? Um, probably like, yeah, 15, uh, like at the, sl at the slowest. Sure. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Anything else on the robot that you want to highlight or overview? Um, we have our intake. We have our uh, intake. Let me try to find we it here. We have a few ideas. <clears throat> so um, in our first video, we talked about our original design, and we've kind of not – we haven't worked on that any. We haven't flushed it out. So, but we're enjoying the EveryBot design, so we're kind of thinking of that. And there's another one that we've been playing with from another team – um i keep the seattle solver the seattle solvers i think um <clears throat> and we're kind of a little, like fluctuating between the two and trying to make it our own and see how we can incorporate that into our design you can no, well, not that. a lot of great stuff that your team has going on so we can't wait to see what your continued progress looks like uh best of luck to you as we uh you know get ready obviously for our frc kickoff coming up you got a lot a lot with your hands full of that. So keep an eye out on their uh, build blog so we can see continued process for that. Thanks a lot, Precision Guessworks, and good luck as you continue on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to animark.com slash robits to learn more and order today. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started.